evaluation of the written draft by the teacher by the students themselves and then post writing is important element of a planning a writing course in this regard who can evaluate the course of course teachers but mostly you might agree with me in your own teaching context if you are teaching in private schools or if you are teaching in government schools most of our teachers complain that they don't have time they lack time to to integrate planning drafting feedback editing as a coherent whole in a writing course so but there is a vital link as you might have realized throughout these modules some of the previous modules between revising feedback editing and this vital link can be lost if we don't evaluate what the students have written so it's it's our job as language teachers to use explicit criteria and tell this criteria to the students the criteria against which their work will be awarded their their work will be uh, graded in other words evaluation should focus on the interpretation of the task to what extent the students have engaged with the task to what extent they have answered the questions and to what extent their writing reflects the sense of audience being addressed and to what extent the material used are relevant and to what extent the ideas and their development and organization is coherent and appropriately managed and what about the format grammar structure spelling punctuation vocabulary clarity so these areas of course are broad areas and which cannot be analyzed in one session we can divide our session and allocate one session to grammar the other session to spelling the other session to punctuation the other period to vocabulary and this is how this can be divided into weeks into months and into semesters and the purpose is to actually make the judgment criteria or the evaluation criteria in other words clear and explicit to the students and of course we as language teachers in terms of evaluating and post writing we can make the use of numerical grade in terms of for example a grade or a plus b plus or b or c plus or c or the use of marks as well like 80 the range of 90 from 100 to 90 to 80 to 70 to 60 so this is the numerical figure which we can give post writing means or refers what will what the students will do with their writing and i would suggest if we want to own their writing if we want to acknowledge their writing we need to get, get give this message to the students look it's important it will be published and it it will be published in different ways for example pasting it on the classroom walls on the notice board or you can ask the students share their writing with other colleague with other peers in the classroom and reading them aloud so post writing is all about transforming texts for stage or displaying them on notice boards so the main actually purpose is to recognize what the students write is important and it's it's worthwhile it's not wasted so what it will do although it looks a tiny activity a very common place activity but it has a uh, very rich fruits to offer for example it will not only enhance the motivation but also give a sense of purpose to the students so as language teachers we need to offer a criteria against which students writing will be analyzed evaluated assessed and graded 
and then empower students make them realize what they are writing is important it's not wasted and it has a worth it has a value and it will be displayed in the form of different uh, portfolios different uh, sort of uh, um, charts or posters in the classroom on the notice boards and in different formats